I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Oh, let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Oh, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Through this world of toil and snares, if I falter, Lord, who cares? Who with me my burden shares? None but me, dear Lord, none but thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Oh, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. When my feeble life is o'er, time for me will be no more. Guide me gently, safe and sure, to thy kingdom shore, to thy shore, just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, is my plea, daily walking close to thee, oh, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I said it, let it be, dear Lord, I let it be. Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe. I am your narrator, Shenandoah Briscoe, and we are going to get through the Bible in one year. Today is day six, and we're going to be doing Genesis 16 through 17, and Matthew 5, 27 through 48. I started with a little bit of worship this morning, and today we're also going to uh, start off where we're going to also include a prayer. Father, I just ask that the pur for purity in voice and recognition, so that the translation may be a blessing for all of those who are listening. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Alrighty, here we go. Genesis 16. Now, Sarai, Abraham's wife, had bore no children, but she had an Egyptian slave named Hagar. So she said to Abram, The Lord has kept me from having children. Go sleep with my slave. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Abram agreed with what Sari said. And so, after Abram had been living in Canaan ten years, Sari, his wife, told, took her Egyptian slave Hagar and gave her to her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar, and she conceived. And when she knew she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Then Sari said to Abram, You are responsible for the wrong I am suffering. I put my slave in your arms, and now that she knows she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Your slave is in your hands, Abram said. Do with her whatever you think is best. Then Sari mistreated Hagar. So she fled from her. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to Shoar. And he said, Hagar, slave of Sari, where have you come from and where are you going? I am running away from my mistress, Sari, she answered. Then the angel, angel of the Lord told her, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. 
The angel added, I will increase your descendants so much that they will be too numerous to count. The angel of the Lord also said to her, You are now pregnant, and you will give birth to a son. You shall name him Ishmael, for the Lord has heard of your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hands will be against everyone, and everyone's hands against him. And he will live in hostility towards all his brothers. She gave this name to the Lord who speaks to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I, now, I have now seen the one who sees me. That is why they will be called Bir Laha Rao. That is why the well, that is why the well was called Bir Laha Rao. It is still there between Kadesh and Beard. So, Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram gave the name Ishmael to the son she had born. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. When Abram was 19, uh, 99 years of old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Abram fell face down and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. And for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations for you, and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give as an everlasting possession to your and your descendant to you and your descendants after you, and I will be their God. Then God said to Abraham, As far as for you, you must keep my covenant and your descendants after you for the generations to come. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you. The covenant you are to keep, every male among you shall be circumcised. You are to undergo circumcision, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and you. For the generations to come, every male among you who is eight days old must be circumcised, including those born in your household or brought with mo bought with money from a foreigner those who are not your offspring where whether born in your household or brought with you bought with money they must be circumcised my covenant in your flesh my covenant in your flesh is to be an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh will be cut off from the, his people. He has been broken. He has broken my covenant. God also said to Abraham, As for Sari, your wife, you are no longer to call her Sari. Her name will be Sarah. I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of people will come from her. Abraham fell face down. He laughed and, and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? And will Sarah bear a child at the age of ninety? And Abraham said to God, If only Ishmael might live under your blessing. 
And then God said, Yes, but your wife Sarah will bear you a son, and you will call him Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. And as from Ishmael I have heard you, and I will surely bless him. I will make him fruitful, and will greatly increase his number. And he will be the father of twelve rulers, and I will make him into a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear you, to you by this time next year. And when he had finished speaking with Abraham, God went up from him. On the very, that very day, Abraham took his son Ishmael, and all those born in his household or brought with bought with his money every male in his household and circumcised them and God told him as God told him Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised and his son Ishmael was 13 Abraham and his son Ishmael were both circumcised on that very day and every male in Abraham's household including those born in his household or bought from a foreigner were circumcised with him now you notice some of those names up there well those names came uh, from Matthew 1 remember when we went through Matthew 1 and we went through the uh, uh, ancestral line those were some of the names that we mentioned and so they are familiar to you I hope okay we're going to go into Matthew 5 now and uh, We'll be doing uh, 5, 27 through 48. Adultery. Mm -hmm. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery within, her, within his heart. Now, if your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body, for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right eye or if your right hand has caused you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for your, you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. And divorce. It has been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, makes her the victim of adultery, and anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Oaths. 33. Sorry. Matthew 35, 33. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear on an oath at all, either by heaven for, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond that comes from the evil one. An eye for an eye. Matthew 5:38. You have heard that it was said, eye for an eye, and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, Go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. 
One of thy enemies. Forty-three. You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children for that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. And that is it. Matthew five twenty-eight through 48. Okay, then. Uh, I thank you so much for tuning in. I'm hoping this is being a blessing for you. Um... It's doing me a lot of good to be able to um, translate something uh, for anybody, and especially the Bible, because, well, it's a blessing for you and for me. So anyway, tune in tomorrow where we're going to be doing, um, let's see. Uh, let's see, what are we going to be doing? Genesis 18 through 19 and Matthew 6 1 through 18 so tune in tomorrow and that's where we will be okay thank you have a very blessed uh, day and may God bless you and protect you in Jesus mighty name amen and they all said amen